nice and lovely peanut porridge from Chef Ricardo. Look at this. I have some peanut right here. All right, let's take out this bad one. I don't know if it's this bad or anything, but I'm gonna put roughly about quarter cans of peanut inside of this. Yeah, look at that. That's the amount of peanut. And we're going to put a pack of oats inside of it. Don't be frightened, guys. You should have forgot the recipe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Please, don't, don't wonder what's going to happen. And It's just a, a recipe which I want to share with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now we're going to put some pumpkin seed. One tablespoon of pumpkin seed. You don't have to, but that's my recipe. Alright. So we should put some dried coconut inside of it. Alright, that's gonna bring up a lot of flavor to it. One tablespoon of dry coconut. Look at that. Beautiful. So we have the pumpkin seed in it. And now we're going to put some of your favorite inside of it. This is some kamiya. One tablespoon of kamiya. That is beautiful. That is fantastic and amazing. Alright guys. Yeah. That is one of a kind. Let me get a knife to peel my plant in. We have to peel the planting. See that? Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm using almond milk. Okay, you know Chef Ricardo doesn't use the other milk. I mean, I'm just keeping it real and natural. I'm going to put some almond milk inside of it. All right. I want you guys to see exactly what's going on. Yeah, make it sort down to the bottom. Now the spoon, the knife. Lovely. All right. Put some more inside of it. Fill it up to the rim. Lovely. Then the one we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply blend it for about four to five seconds. So what we're gonna do is just take off it to see exactly what's going on. Got it. It's a little bit thick, which I don't want that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit thick. So it's gonna add a little bit more milk after almond milk in this, and kind of blend it a little bit more.
lovely. So let's take a good look now. That's that's a little bit better. So I'm just gonna pour the things out of this now. Wow. <laughs> Time. Anyway, we're gonna use this in the pot right away still, but like you guys can see exactly what's going on, you know what I mean? Right up, but yeah, look at that. One pint and some leftover. Nice, so water boiling. That's a good sign. Alright. So what we're gonna do now is put some coconut milk inside of the water. What about two tablespoons of coconut milk as you can see is a thick thick bit that's fine really thick bit roughly about two tablespoons of the coconut block that's the one that's melt out inside of it beautiful and nice alright I don't even have to use all this this is a little bit too much so I'm gonna just take over this piece <laughs> it's too much I don't like too much coconut tonight you know what I mean because a lot of oil that alright so now we're going to put that lovely mixture inside of it like this. Uh, give it a lovely mix. Nice and lovely guys. So basically, the porridge is cooked down. And now what we're going to do is sweeten it. So we have mixed spice. We have not the egg. Jamaican cinnamon. And your favorite vanilla over here. Two tablespoons of another mix. Got a little bit more left in this pan, I'm just gonna pour it in it like this. Lovely. And you're gonna get really thick up, so let's give it about five to six, seven, seven seconds. Wow, see that? Okay. Beautiful. Thick and nice, you know what I mean? That's exactly what you're looking for. Beautiful. Let's gonna turn on the stove a little bit now. I'll make it go and cook for about 15 minutes. Enjoy the recipe, guys. So it's gonna be simmering now. And the thickness is really nice. If it's too thick, you can always add some more of the almond milk. But that's perfect. Two tablespoons of vanilla, have that already, and a pinch of salt. Brown sugar, I'll use that sweet One, two, three tablespoons of brown sugar. Time to sweep. Beautiful and nice. All right, what we're gonna do is taste it. You know what I mean? That is perfect. Not too sweet, not a lot of salt. Come in, I love all of the salt on my food. The only thing that I put tonight is a little bit more of the non egg. So 
allow that to simmer for about five more minutes until it go. Nice and lovely, so as you can see, it's taking a little time and boil. Look at that, beautiful. But anyway, it is ready, and what we're gonna do now is just simple shear it out, all right? Enjoy it. Nice and lovely, so nice big size bowl right here. So a simple pour in a nice big bowl like this. Good to go. Lovely, yeah. Peanut and green plant and porridge. Enjoy the recipe. Nice, nice. So enjoy the recipe and you know what I mean? Subscribe, leave your comments in the description box. We've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming from Chef Ricard and the team. Look at that steam coming from it. Amazing. So enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. So this is a recipe which I want to share with you from a very long time. And nice and lovely. So this is a recipe which I want to share with you from a very long time. Some nice lovely barbecue chicken or beef chicken, whatever you want to call it. I only call it barbecue chicken. First thing, what we're going to do, I got some dry thyme and I'm gonna put some dry thyme on the chicken. Like this, alright? That's gonna bring in a lovely flavor to the chicken. Secondly, I have some mixed herb. I don't know what is mixed, you know, you guys know what is mixed herb. Go to the supermarket or your local shop and tell them that to saw it on Chef Record a YouTube channel, mixed herb. All right, now we're gonna put a tablespoon of the mixed herb on the chicken. All right, so if you don't know what is mixed herb, you need to go to your local supermarket or your local shop and tell them that you want some mixed herb to buy. All right. Secondly, we're going to put a tablespoon of chicken season. One tablespoon of the chicken season. That is lovely and nice. We're not going to overdo it. Now, second thing, we're going to put some paprika. Roughly about a teaspoon of paprika. And that's going to be it. That is lovely and fantastic and nice. Now, I'm going to put some some of your favorite. I don't know, no, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, but this is your favorite. This is some barbecue sauce. If you don't know what is barbecue sauce, go in your local supermarket and buy some barbecue sauce. All right. So we're gonna put roughly about four tablespoons. Lovely. That is fantastic so far. Now, I have a medium-sized white onion, which I'm going to be using. And I'm going to simply just cut it up small. When you marinate this chicken, don't cook it instantly. Cook it the next day. See that? That's the white onion for the chicken. That is lovely and nice. Now we're going to get some garlic to put inside of it. Roughly about three cloves of garlic. The, the beauty behind the garlic now, I'm going to give you a little secret. So if you don't have one, you need to get one. This is Chef Ricardo Garlic Squeezer. Alright, it's on my website. 
support Chef Ricardo and the team and get the garlic squeezer. Now I have three cloves of garlic and now I just move off a little bit of the trash outside so you don't need to stress yourself. This is what I'm gonna do now. It's simple. Squeeze it in like this. You see that? That is fantastic and nice. Once you do that, look at that. That's trash. So, you know what I mean? It's something different for you guys. All right? You don't need to stress yourself and say, my God, when am I going to get, I forgot to peel off this garlic and all them things. You don't need to. Look at that, you see? And this now, you just wash it out in a little bit of soap and you're good to go. Get this, it's on Chef Ricardo YouTube channel, um, website and support Chef Ricardo and the team. You know what I mean? That's because we are doing a good job for you guys. So give us a support, you know what I mean? That is lovely. That is amazing. That is fantastic, guys, honestly. There's no need to stress yourself. So what I'm going to do now is put on a little bit of... This is some... Chicken stocks, dry bits, tomato, garlic inside of this. So I'm just gonna simple. Put some on it like this, you know what I mean? You don't have to stress yourself and put a too much. Then what we're gonna do next is put some pepper. We now overdo the chicken. We are, you know what I mean, make, make the chicken season up and nice, you know? Where well, you guys now have to stress yourself at home. All right. Now, Chef Ricardo have his natural blending season, which I always tell you about. So if you don't have the natural blending season, you know what I mean, you need to blend up a big portion and put it into your fridge. So this is the amount we're gonna put on it, roughly about three quarter tablespoon or half tablespoon. That's the natural blending season which if you follow me on my YouTube channel, then you can see the natural blending season which I'm talking about. Don't get me wrong, it is fantastic and nice. Yeah? Really nice the blending season. You don't need to stress yourself about the blending season because the blending season got thyme, spring onion, everything in it. So, what I'm going to do next is put some vegetable oil on the chicken for you. Just to show you, say, if you're at home and you want to use a little bit of oil, you know what I mean? Just use a roughly about two tablespoons of oil on the chicken. Don't stress yourself and overdo the chicken. All right, guys? Secondly, put on a gloves. Gloves is important. All right? The gloves for the chicken is important. So what we're going to do, put on our gloves and just simply rub up the chicken like this. You know what I mean? I got a lot of chicken recipe on my YouTube channel. I, I, because the first video which I did put on my YouTube channel when I just start YouTube was a chicken recipe. Never forget that. You know what I mean? So. But look at that. That is fantastic and really nice. And you have this glazy look. So basically the reason why I put the oil on it is going to make the skin get crispy. But I wash off my chicken with some lemon juice or you can use white vinegar. So, you know what I mean? The best time to cook this is the next day. Honestly, you can cook it instantly, but the best time to cook the chicken is the next day. Beautiful chicken, guys. Marinate up a chicken already for Sunday dinner. Or, you know what I mean, your Saturday evening dinner, your Friday evening dinner, your Monday evening dinner. Whatever you want. It's up to you. But that is fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is put into a container like this. You know what I mean, guys? Because I done marinate up the chicken and I'm going to just put this in my fridge or the freezer ready for the next day to cook. You can do the same thing at home. Alright. If you notice I didn't use no salt. 
and the chicken. The chicken is fabulous. Look at that. That is what I call a marinated chicken at home. You know what I mean? Enjoy the recipe, subscribe, leave your comments, and thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo's show. We've got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas, and a lot more things will be coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show. One of a kind in the world. You never see anything like this, guys. Look at that. Marvelous. All right? See you next time. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. Right here I have two nice lovely pieces of steak. I'm just marinating into some pepper, salt and garlic right here. Alright? If you see that red thing on it because it's, it's a steak season, I just crack some on it. But normally steak, you know what I mean? You just want to marinate into some garlic and some salt and pepper. You know what I mean? And it's a perfect roast steak. This is just amazing steak guys as I can see it for yourself really fantastic and nice so what i'm going to do i'm gonna be frying up this lovely steak like you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about right here it's just amazing right here and i know 100 percent you guys definitely will love that steak i just gonna quickly give it a little quick on it just to let us see exactly what's going on in the kitchen with chef ricardo and the team we always are giving the best of the best so this is what's gonna happen now in the kitchen so stay tuned don't go anywhere stay right there and watch this video all right look at this stuff all right let's start the business and this is what gonna happen all right we're just gonna pop a little bit of oil inside of the frying pan inside of the grill pan not much just a little bit Alright, use a brush and just paint it. Alright, that's exactly what you want.
to make up on it. I'm gonna share it up now. Well done, Steve. Alright, just gonna share it up now. You can see some potato. Tomato. Lovely and nice. And this is a steak. That's exactly what I'm talking about. A little bit of noise was making, but come on, really good. Enjoy it.